Slavo from the capital city of Serbia, Belgrade. I'm making my way to the largest Orthodox church in the Balkans called the Temple of St. Sava. I'm just working away from the main street, which is Kinezma High Love Street. If you keep on this main drag, which I think is called Terajizi, I think, it leads all the way to the Temple of St. Sava. The temple is a fair way from the main street, but on the walk you'll see a lot of cool stuff, so I'm going to stop and show you a few things. What you can see behind me is the Hotel Moskva. It's one of the oldest hotels in Belgrade. You've had the likes of Einstein, Gandhi, Brad Pitt, Robert De Niro, and also Boise from Only Falls and Horses who have frequented here. As you can see, they've got a seating area out here. I bet it's nice to sit out here on a sunny day with a nice drink watching the world go by. A bit too cold at the moment though. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, I'm just in some park at the moment, which looks like there's some government buildings in the background. But this statue here intrigues me. I don't know who this lady is. I can't read this writing here. If anybody knows who she is, I'll be intrigued to know. Leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, what you can see behind me is the Church of St. Mark's. It's been here since the 1940s. It's built on the grounds of the former church, which is here in the mid 1800s. Real cool church, definitely worth checking out. Just had a quick film in there, kept it short and sweet. Obviously people are praying, so out of respect, don't hang around too long. But also you've got a little calf called St. Mark's Place, which is supposed to be pretty good as well. Like I say, it's pretty cold, so there's nobody outside. But it'd be definitely nice to stop off here and have a drink outside when it's a bit more warmer. around the corner from the Temple of St. Sava now. As you can see a nice water feature in the middle of the road here. Extremely busy, so I'm going to try and navigate my way across this traffic. Nightmare. And here we are, the largest Orthodox church in the Balkans, the Temple of St. Sava. This place is ginormous. You have to come and see this place to believe it. Let's have a look inside. Okay, facts on the temple. The actual temple was built on where supposedly the relics of St. Sava was desecrated by the Ottoman Empire in 1594. It took about 85 years to construct. The cost of this build is about 100 million euro. Inside the murals, there's about 300 artists have been working on those. The cost of that is 42 million. So that's included within the 100 million euros. But this place is an absolute work of art. You definitely need to come to Belgrade and check this temple out. It's absolutely stunning. The actual temple is still not finished. There's still a lot of construction work going on around here. It will be exciting to see the finished product. But yeah, really, really do feel privileged to actually go inside there because I think it's been 10 years since the doors have been opened, I'm led to believe. So here's the statue of St. Sava. The people of Serbia actually worship St. Sava on the 27th of January. He's renowned for building hospitals, monasteries and schools. So a very good man. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Now for the long walk back home. See you in the next one.